was only upon my arrival at the Geneva airport that I realized it was over. And if I had to do it again, well, I don't think I would. Hi again, we are day 9 now. I realized that fishing took me too much time. Uh, I don't have time to do anything else. That's why I am cutting this tree behind. I need to have an automatic pesh system. Then uh, I need to explore all around because I saw yesterday that there are snails and snails are very good. I need to see if there are more anywhere and some, some maybe more animal in the reef that I can eat uh, instead of fish because three days I'm fishing now and I have no fish and I start getting uh, starving and uh, this is not okay at all. The next hour I am doing an automatic fish system. The principle was simple. A very heavy branch as a fishing rod, one heavy stone as a counterweight, the fishing line and the bait and that did the trick. All right, that's finished. I'm exhausted. It looks very easy, I know, huh, to do it, but I don't eat so much now because I don't have the choice and um, I drink, that's okay, but every time I have to do a physical effort, I feel uh, tired very easily. Then uh, now I will, uh, I will have a rest. Ha, I'm not in a hurry neither, anyway. When you are hungry, you are less picky. I found some sea snails. Well, only a few of them, not enough for a feast. Probably not, huh? The lack of food, the sudden solitude, no points of reference, I don't know what waited on me the most, but after eight days, I cried. My family is missing me, and uh, everything I know is missing me, actually. Here it's nice, but I, uh, I cannot discover, I have no food, uh, I have water, yes, but... Uh, it's so hard, it's very hard. <clears throat> and uh, in my house I have everything. Then I say, why, why are you doing this, you know? You, you, could, you, could, you could stay home, cool, with your friends, girlfriend, family. It just hit me without warning. I was down in the dumps, 22,000 kilometers away from home, far from my friends, my family, my fridge, and worst of all, this was my idea. Fortunately, I had the flag of the motivation, on which my friends had written me messages. Reading them gave me the courage to go on. And to top this, it was that day I saw whales for the first time. And when you see this, I can tell you, you forget all your problems. I miss many things here. And uh, there is many things I have here that I cannot have home. But in the morning it's very hard to, to put this in mind. But in the evening, yeah, I, I feel this again and I feel very happy, I feel quiet. I think what I have to learn is to go slowly now. I have to learn to take the time to do everything. Here still everything I do, I want to do it fast, to make it finish as quick as possible. And it's not the way. Um, I had to push this, this plastic, which was the protection of my solar panel because I realized that my roof is not waterproof at all and um, I really need a waterproof uh, roof for all the material I have that's why I put this uh, and I will start today doing uh, um, uh, to work with the coconut sleeve to do a waterproof roof The first step was to reach the top of the coconut tree but if climbing up a tree seems to be rather easy reaching the palms of that tree with such a smooth trunk is a different kettle of fish. Having accomplished this exploit, I stripped the tree of its palms. 
I had chosen them because of their length, which pretty much matched the one of my roof. Then comes the weaving. The method is simple. Once above, once under. Once above, once under. On lève, on laisse en bas, on lève, on laisse en bas, on lève. On descend, on ramène. In the Tonga Islands, the roof of the shelters are covered by layering lattice work, which makes them waterproof. Obviously, quite a few of them are needed anyway. Another major problem I had was the mosquitoes. There were thousands of them in that forest. So the best way to keep them away from my camp was to clean around the shelter and to open up the space, so the wind from the ocean could create a natural protection. But it didn't work. Yes! Coconut! <sighs> yes! Oh. C'est bon! I collect rain in case of, uh, I collect wood, sorry, in case of water, because uh, if it rains, forget. All the wood is wet for three, maybe four, five days, it depends, and you cannot start a fire, even with the lighter. It's so hard. That's why I have small wood, medium wood, big wood, and with this, if I do one fire a day, I can stay one week, I think. Since this morning, I hear the volcano. And I didn't know what happened and I was a bit worried because we never know. And that's why I, I came to the top. I have to find out. I came to the top to have a look at the volcano. The way up to the volcano isn't really a piece of cake, especially when it comes to walking through the tangled fern. But once you reach the side of the crater, the sight makes you forget the effort. Sometimes uh, I, I feel lonely. The, the only thing who, who never, who didn't change here, it, it's me. I mean, I, at, see, at the beginning. Uh, but I'm here for one month here, and it's true that I, I miss pretty much everything. Uh, I'm in the middle of the nature, but I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm alone. I, I'm really alone, and that that's not easy. End of September, I think. Now is the evening. I eat. I think yes, it's it's a pretty cool life. It is very simple, huh? but uh, I don't have anything to do except survive myself, except getting food for me and uh, making a, continue to make a good house and to build a cage. It is very simple. It's good. But in the morning when I wake up, every morning when I wake up, uh, I have a different feeling of it. Uh, I feel like I want to go home to do the stuff I was doing before. And in the evening when I'm here, uh, I think it's good.
I think what I have to learn is to go slowly now. I have to learn to take the time to do everything. Semer des vents, semer des vents.